Welcome to the Fatherhood News Podcast. Please follow us here and subscribe to us on YouTube for your daily news headlines of all the news from the fatherhood space in Elite Dangerous. Here are today's top stories on the 6th of November 3306. Breaking news The Fatherhood is now an all out war with the Orion Space Security. The Fatherhood Central Command sent the Fatherhood podcast a statement regarding this war. When we arrived to Reminds to make a new home for our faction, we said our first priority was the completion of the atmosphere above these two worlds. Our engineers were conducting legal and approved planetary surveys of Reminds A4 and Reminds A5 when the militia of Orion Space Security attacked the Diamondback Explorer. They were unarmed, with no hardpoints installed, but the Imperial Eagles and couriers of the Orion Space Security opened fire and decimated their ship, we lost five commanders in this attack and we will not lose any more, our fleet carriers have arrived and our corvettes will dominate the conflict zones. The strategic retreat by the Antobe Republic Incorporated has seen them hold ground against Social DP Camilla Pardalis Values Party for the control of both slim chromium drilling and general energy research. This brilliant plan has focused the forces of the Antobe Republic Incorporated and has galvanized their support with independent pilots flocking to the Antobe Republic Incorporated Mission Board for massacre contracts. The temporary ceasefire continues in Badaba. Revolutionary Badaba Progressive Party said they want to extend the hand of peace to the Badaba Interstellar Faction to end this civil war. This has been seen as a momentous occasion, and hope grows that peace will come at last to this star system. Local forces in LHS 197 loyal to Social Manamaya Democrats has said they are winning the war with Fortuna Life Company, but have fallen short of claiming a victory. The Fatherhood have said this war needs to end soon so we can continue with the real work of this star system. Day 6 of the conference in Cleveland Rock Resort continues and with every passing day hopes for peace grows, with citizens calling to shut down the conflict zones becoming more vocal with every passing minute. It is still feared that independent commanders may jeopardize the peace that both factions seem to want. Shetty is in flames today, with Defense Party of Shetty's civil war with Shetty Limited continues to rage on while the Hoder Network and Shetty Front are gearing up for war. This would make Shetty the most volatile region of space within the Fatherhood Control System. Fatherhood Central Command urge all its commanders not to get involved in this war, as special envoys have been sent to all factions to try and mediate a deal that will put an end to hostilities. In election news, a statement today made by Purple Transport Industry have said they don't see how they can lose this election and they are sure they will add Cooper Enterprise as a new travel location within a few cycles. This comes on the eve of yet another Fertilla Abu Chalaroha Travel Industries Empty Dolphins and Orcas Landing in Marshall Hub that sealed a second round victory for Purple Transport Industry. The election for England Depot continues with no side able to break this deadlock, despite a wave of independent commanders heading to the star system, yet no poll data or passenger mission contracts being filled during the last cycle. Appeals by both sides have gone out to try and gain votes for control of this historic depot in in Ross 346. Pirate attacks continues against the Union of Ashandra's coalition, however all commanders need to be on the lookout and remember to set your reports crimes against me beacon on and fatherhood security forces will assist. It is not recommended that you fly without shield or electronic countermeasures and tourists are advised to avoid this star system at this time. Silver Vision Solutions continue to fall in influence in the BD plus 69 238 star system, with experts say this faction needs to turn the tide before they face a bust state. In related news the posse of BD plus 69 238 continue to increase their influence and they hope to stop all black market trading within a few cycles. 
following comments by the Confederacy of Kier, LP 128-9 group have said there is no place for hate within our star system, and have condemned the Confederacy of Kier. The Kier gang influence continues to rise with the announcement of a new contract with LP 128-9 group, for protection duties. Kalaga Republic Party fleet carriers have been all recalled putting the raw material transport business at risk. It is unclear as to why. The Brewer Corporation have yet to release a statement. The Fatherhood have had an internal meeting and have released the following statement regarding the situation on Gagarin Dock. First, I would like to state that the situation on the Garan Dock is an internal matter between LHS 1848 Blue Ring and the aristocrats of LHS 1848. The Fatherhood and the workers of the Garan Dock are not involved in this and we urge all demonstrators to allow us to continue with the vital work of this dock. This does not mean that the Fatherhood will shy from these situations and bury our head in the sand. We have spoken to the aristocrats and have made it clear that this branch of financial terrorism is not acceptable and must stop with immediate effect. This does not mean that Blue Ring will recover soon but we feel that if they are given a chance they could contribute to the star system in time. The surge in influence continues for the LHS 28 commodities despite the outbreak with traders continuing to find profitable trades in medicine trade missions. LHS 28 said in a statement today that all factions should see the way we handled this outbreak as a blueprint for future outbreaks should they occur. The Fatherhood have issued a statement saying that aid is now flowing to the Manamaya rats and this can be seen in the 0.3% increase in their influence and have rejected Inky's accusations on the last Fatherhood podcast. As reported on the last Fatherhood podcast, NLTT 14,879 Jet Boys will now provide labor for NLTT 14,879 Silver Power Company, and some news sources have them above aristocrats of NLTT 14,879 in influence as stock price rises. The fatherhood were forced to issue an infrastructure failure today in V491 per se, with local fatherhood representatives simply stating they are dealing with an outage in Bloomfield installation. We will bring you more on this and all other stories from the fatherhood star systems on the next fatherhood podcast, and remember every Sunday our main news program takes a deep dive into the major stories of the week. I have been Hannah Williams for the Fatherhood News Podcast. Remember our main news program can be found on thefatherhoodwing.space and also on YouTube. And for an up-to-the-cycle update on all these and other stories, please follow us on Twitter at News Fatherhood, Fly Safe Commanders, and as we say here in the Fatherhood News Network, don't dream of the stars, fly amongst them.